You know, lots of people are basically saying, just look at these wonderful pictures of how a friendship has developed between, of course, these two ladies who are attached to two very famous men, respectively, in their fields. Of course, Natchez is an incredibly popular and, let's not forget, very successful polo player, but also a model too, as is his wife. And they've now attached themselves, of course, to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. A friendship has developed. Apparently, brothers, they're that close. And these two are almost like sisters. Meghan clearly forgetting, of course, she had a sister before she ditched her. <laughs> you get the picture. But you see, there's a bigger story behind this. And this is exactly how this particular story evolves. Because when you think about it, you know, Meghan has literally coasted through many different lives. And as a one time co star found out, Patrick J. Adams, when you simply no use, you're cut off dead, as did the rest of the cast of Suits find out, even though, of course, they were lucky enough to tend and bask in all the publicity of her secret, whatever you want to call it, spectacle, royal wedding. As ever, let me explain. It's been lovely to see you today. Thank you so much for taking the time out. And thank you for your lovely comments about the singer-songwriter Dorothy Squires. It's just nice to highlight people, isn't it? A lot of people said never heard of her. And of course, you know, she wasn't necessarily internationally that big. Although Eddie Fisher did cover one of her songs, I'm Walking Behind You. Wonderful story about how she went after him when she figured that he'd stolen her moment. Yes, never cross Dot Squires. That was the big thing, you know? And of course, many people recall the fact that she was married to the wonderful actor Sir Roger Moore but as I said it's just nice to jog the memory bank isn't it remember people that have gone beyond you know it's truly interesting to look at their lives so thank you for letting me share that with you and as I say I love the fact that you get involved and have your memories too it's what it's about our friendship group truly well have a quick wave you all right thank you so much yes now this is interesting as I say because you know <laughs> you do have to laugh at this everybody's sort of saying oh you know this is a developing friendship they're so close now let's not forget of course Nacho's wife is a model but not really that well known I mean let's be honest had you heard of him or her before the attachment to Harry and Meghan no it's called benefits you know that's the whole point now look all of these pictures of them standing with their designer heels off relaxing all that sort of stuff hugging each other they know exactly where the cameras are this is as fake as it can come but the bottom line is both need each other right now you see for of course the other duo they know they're getting international press press they simply couldn't buy you know people are now talking about them she's posting out pictures on instagram and it's amazing isn't it these snatch pictures that she's allowed to post out on instagram while for a while at least her uh, one time close co-star patrick j adams was berated had to apologize and remove the pictures simply because he's no longer any use Megan really rinses you out and tosses you aside like an old J-cloth. It's clearly obvious. But what's interesting here is, of course, both will use each other until the time has run out. So for everybody saying this just proves exactly what a warm, huggable, delightful couple Harry and Meghan are, don't forget they're selling a brand, they're selling a docu-series for Netflix all about the world of polo. And right now, he's a big catch in the world of polo and seemingly agreeing to do anything on camera. So while people might suggest, oh, this is a lovely, warm, endearing friendship, I would suggest putting a ticking time clock next to this to wonder exactly just how long they will remain friends. Like so many that have gone through this swinging doors of Archwell, it can only truly be a matter of time. Or am I wrong? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.